So recently I was asked the question on uh, this little Sharpie Yagi adapter video if uh, this performed as good as or any better than the uh, windsurfer adapter that's been around for many many years. Now I uh, answered that question just with the knowledge that I uh, had at the time and uh, I said that probably the windsurfer would uh, outperform this little Yagi adapter but unless we test it we just don't know. So this will just be a uh, quick little video here to test these three adapters. Now the Pringles can has been around since the uh, dawn of uh, Wi-Fi and uh, it's been uh, serialised in uh, the media and in film that uh, hackers actually use these to steal passwords. Now what I will tell you straight off the bat is that uh, the Pringles can does not work very well. The uh, inside metallic surface in here is not conductive in any way and uh, you actually put a hole in it the same uh, dimension measurements away from the uh, bottom of the can here the same as you would for a can tenor. but because uh, it uh, is not reflective on its surface on the inside here it doesn't work very well basically you're just using the reflector here at the back you can get it to perform a little bit better by actually wrapping uh, aluminium cooking foil around it but even then it's just not that good and to be perfectly honest even in the early days of Wi-Fi when uh, people used to go out war driving etc and things like that I've uh, never seen anybody actually use a Pringles can there's just much better options for uh, scanning for Wi-Fi so what I intend to do then is to uh, use the omnidirectional dipole antenna on its own first just to give us a baseline and uh, I've got a uh, access point straight out of my window here in the lab that I know is uh, quite a distance away and uh, the signal strength from a little omnidirectional dipole like this is about uh, 60%, 55 to 60% on a good day so we'll use that as a baseline and then we'll test the Pringles can the windsurfer and then the uh, little Sharpie Yagi adapter just to uh, find out how they all perform on uh, conditions like this all with the same access point so it should be quite a fair test so first up then we've got the uh, little dipole antenna so let's give that a quick scan first So it's picked up the access point that I'm interested in testing against now. It's this one here, Gamer Wi-Fi, and it's coming in at around 60, 65%. So let's switch to the graph then. And we can see now that it's settled down, it's just under 60%, probably about uh, 57, 58%. So it's not that good. You definitely would not be able to connect to this uh, access point and browse the internet. But what I'll do now is uh, I'll try the Pring Pringles can next and what I'll do I'll just pause Vista Stumbler in between so that way we'll get one big long graph so it can be easy to compare the uh, different adapters against so the Pringles can first then we'll just scan that again now we've got that on and we can see it climbing slightly there's uh, a little bit of extra signal strength there but it's not massive it's probably about another seven eight percent in the signal strength so it just does not work well the Pringles can it's not a true waveguide if you're going to actually uh, do something like this you, you, your time will be much better spent actually building a proper cantenna rather than a Pringles can as I said you can increase it slightly by wrapping aluminium foil around it but uh, not by much it really isn't worth using at all to be honest with you so next up then we've got the windsurfer now I'm expecting to see a uh, much stronger jump using the windsurfer and indeed it's now climbed up into the uh, 80% that uh, I would expect to see a windsurfer operating with the increase on the signal it's uh, probably about 84 85% there and remember that the windsurfer is a true parabola so it's making the best out of that little dipole antenna it really does work and there you can uh, see that the signal strength of the windsurfer is rock steady it's just holding there at about 84 percent it's not dipping it's not losing any signal it uh, really is a good performer 
So finally then the uh, Yagi, the Sharpie Yagi adapter, let's see how well that does. And it seems to be on par with the uh, windsurfer. I uh, didn't think that it would be, but it's definitely exactly the same as the uh, windsurfer. Again, a rock steady signal there. It's not dropping out in any way. And it's around that 84% uh, exactly the same as the windsurfer. So I'm uh, a little bit surprised by that. I would have thought the windsurfer would have uh, taken it just slightly over the uh, Yagi adapter but uh, it's performing really well I'm really pleased with that so I hope you enjoyed that little test I myself was genuinely surprised how well this uh, Sharpie Yagi adapter did perform next to the windsurfer I would have thought the windsurfer would have uh, taken it but uh, again it's uh, interesting to note about the Pringles can um, I remember when TK Maxx was hacked probably back in uh, 2005 2006 and the uh, news outlets that were actually reported on it were saying that they hacked the passwords using a Pringle can but that is just not true at all they did not use a Pringles can and um, it's also appeared in quite a few TV series and some films as well. Off the top of my head, the new sequel to the War Games movie that came out probably, I think it was about 2006, he actually used a Pringles can to get a signal across a river, probably about two or three miles, which just isn't true. The Pringles can does, does not cut it as a uh, long distance uh, you know uh, adapter that you can use instead of a cantenna it doesn't improve the signal that much at all so i hope you enjoyed this uh, quick little test any comments uh, drop them below and if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up as always and uh, as always hopefully you'll join me on the next one